Greetings. It's now officially seven weeks since I've been out of hospital. And I can say confidently that I have now been out of hospital longer than I have been in hospital, which is absolutely awesome. And I'm intending to keep it that way. There's so many lessons that I have learned along the way, and I will share some of them um, a bit later on. But one of the most important things I've le learnt is about the power of love. Look, I've got a kind of a, a love thing. Can you see the love? Oh, yeah. Um, the power of love. And that love isn't just about people loving you. It's about you loving you. And actually, in real terms, if you love you, then actually, A, you give other people permission, but also that you're able to receive that love in a different way. I have quite literally pressed the pause button on my life and had a great separation between doing and being. And I hadn't realized that, that actually there was such a big difference between the two. And whilst it, would, it is that I wouldn't recommend that you find out the way that I've found out, I think that those moments of taking time out and just having an opportunity to reflect, to just kind of refresh and recharge, which interestingly is what my new venture is all about, the personal branding spa, but that's not what this, is, this video is about. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that one later on. But it is that whole thing about understanding who it is that you are and how it is that you show up in the world. And that there is such a difference between what it is that you do and who it is that you are. And who it is that you are is with you all the time. Obviously, it's because it's who you are. But what we've often done is that we've put different outfits or clothes or layers on that masks that. And that even we aren't really sure what it is that that is or what it is that that looks like. And I've had the amazing opportunity to actually see me in the way which is that God sees me, but but seeing me almost for the first time and recognising so much of the stuff that I would have said, oh, that's what I do, is actually really part of my DNA. And I have learnt in the last seven weeks in particular that I'm actually awesome and I don't need you to think that I'm awesome to make that true. Because first of all, me and God got a thing going um, and he thinks I'm awesome. But more importantly, I think I'm awesome. So therefore, I'm living from that place. And so I, I yeah, I just want to share the fact that, do you know what? You're awesome too. But you're only awesome when you own it. Because whatever it is, until you own it, it doesn't make it real. I remember, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt that said, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent, which is so true. You know, that I can call you a dog, but until you start to bark, that isn't true. So we need to find that space to just take a step back away from life and the rat race and all of the stuff that's going on to get a real look at who we are. And how it is that we show up in the world? And if there are tweaks or adjustments that we would like to make, because we'd like to show up in a different way, then actually we're able to do that. Because all of this is a choice. We choose. Because right now, I could be saying to you, oh my gosh, it's really terrible. Do you know what's happened to me this year? Oh my gosh, it's so... <laughs> and kind of crying, but and that's not part of my DNA. But I'm choosing to actually say, do you know what? This is awesome because it provides me with an opportunity to look at me in a different way, to then show up in a different way, to connect and engage with people in a different way. And I can honestly say to you that I love me and I know that I'm awesome and that therefore that's going to be and is the place is I show up from because I don't know any other way because that's who it is that I am and so today as I'm saying that I've been out of hospital for seven weeks it's awesome and I'm excited about the road ahead I'm excited about the possibilities and the opportunities and about the doors that will open as a result I am not spending time thinking about what does this all mean and doesn't this mean x and oh my gosh you know oh you know when I look at the stats this is what it is that it means and so therefore I'm not doing any of that because that's not necessary that's just 
wasting my time and my energy, which can be more appropriately focused on something more positive. And so, yeah, I'm just, and I just want to share this moment with you because I think that's it, isn't it? When stuff kind of happens for us, whether it's good or bad, then actually we need to share it because in our sharing that there's somebody else that we may be helping through something or getting them to helping them to to see something in a different light i think that the um nelson mandela's inauguration speech the marianne williamson return to love thing that says that when we shine our light we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same and so by shining your light isn't about being arrogant it isn't about any of those things it's actually a acknowledging that where is it you're at and what's kind of going on but actually it's about providing the light in the darkness for somebody else and I know that I'm here to touch move and inspire people to be the best version of themselves so that they can show up on purpose on time and actually get the richness and the fullness of what life has to offer me I'm God's child that may not be your thing but that's my thing and so I know that my legacy my inheritance my power, my awesomeness, actually, it's my birthright. And I'm owning that. So, yeah, that's what it is I wanted to say on my seven weeks thing. Anyway, whatever it is you're doing, have an absolutely great one. And I will catch you somewhere soon.